Call it that. Why are we bringing Roman Catholicism and colonialization into the bedroom? We don't need that. And it's the and being on top. I have not earned that at all. That requires a great deal of confidence. And, and as, as a man who is in a committed relationship with someone who's a real earner, I haven't earned that position. I'm not getting on top of someone, some sweaty glass ceiling on top of my wife. Uh, at best, when I do have to have, when I'm forced to perform, St. Patrick's Day, uh, 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 I just lay on my back and I point my toes outward. And I give my wife that look that says, know your exits. And then, uh, uh, and then a minute and a half later, we're Uber Eats. That's what we're doing. Uber Eats. If you are, are going to have a threesome, bring me in as an event planner. That's where I shine. That is where I shine. Playlists, lights, chilled water, sandwiches with the crust cut off. I know everybody's allergies. I'm very good at that. No latex. Neil has a thing. Non-nitriles tonight. I'm very good at that. But I'm not good. I'm not good in that. I, and I have, um, I have friends. Uh, my wife and I have friends. Believe it or not, uh, uh, we have friends that um, who are are in the poly community, and uh, we know that because they won't stop telling us about it. And uh, uh, and I am not making a, a baseline generalization of poly people. Of course, all sexual exploration is very healthy. Uh, me and my wife, of course, we're, we're very we're asexual people. Um, but one thing we have noticed with the two couples that we hang out with who are in the poly community, and this, again, not a baseline generalization, but what I've been able to glean from our four friends, our two couples, is that in both couples, one of the people in that couple is always just slightly more into it than the other one. That is what we've been able to figure out. <laughs> And they, they'll always be like one guy. One of them will be like, uh, "We're not meant to be monogamous." Uh, you know, I mean, it's good to have a, a life partner, someone that's your anchor emotionally, spiritually. But we are meant to explore other people uh, and, ex and other situations and have new experiences sexually. And then their partner always goes, "Yeah." <laughs> This is a horror festival kind of thing, so I'm going to do this for you guys. I don't do it often, but I'm going to, I'm going to share. I'm going to over, have I not already overshared? <laughs> this is just to get a good getting out.